If Pang Meilang's family also had a silver mine, he would not have been bullied so badly by Hua Chenu. In 2014, Pang Meilang became popular overnight with My Skateboard Shoes. The song is funny and humorous, and the lyrics are very catchy, so many people have been brainwashed by him. Director Jia Jongki was in tears after listening to this lonely song, and the famous Do Wentao also praised it. I have to say seriously, I love this song. My Skateboard Shoes was later rated as the 2014 Top 20 Golden Song, and Pang Mylong also became the Top 10 Newcomers of the Year because of My Skateboard Shoes. While Pang Meilong was still complacent, he found that this was just a prelude to a nightmare. In 2019, Pang Meilong published a document claiming that Hua Chenu was infringing. He said that he only agreed to authorize the adaptation and never allowed him to use it for commercial performances. K. Wawa won several awards for his adaptation of the song My Skateboard Shoes 2016, and his fame has increased greatly. The Wachanu team immediately issued a statement on this matter, saying that it had already obtained the legal authorization of Wasu Media and there was absolutely no infringement. As soon as the statement came out, Wachanu fans immediately accused Pang Mylong, connoting that he wanted to attract attention in order to gain popularity, and said that the copyright dispute had nothing to do with Wachanu, it was a matter of Pang Mylong and his former company. Due to the huge gap in strength between the two sides, many people haven't figured out what happened, and the dispute has ended. In the end, amid the noise, Pang Meilong was sent to the lunatic asylum. In March 2021, Pang Meilong's former manager released a video claiming that Pang Meilong was affected by schizophrenia and has been sent to a mental hospital. Fortunately, after more than half a year of recuperation in a mental hospital, Pang Meilang's body recovered, and he reappeared in the public eye, singing the song My Skateboard Shoes again. Just how good is Hua Chenu, his father had a silver mine, and he was born with billions of assets. When others go to school and ride bicycles, he can use a luxury car. He has several villas just after he turned 20. Although Hua Chenu rarely mentions that he is a second-generation rich man, his pride is now in his daily life.